Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all of the praises and the glory to the Most High and His Son, Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai, Bahashem Arakak Badash. And double honor to the elder apostles of the great millstone that have taught me what I now know, and including the elder bishops on down in Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai Barakatham, to the hundred and forty and four thousand that have received this word and that teach the gospel of the kingdom as we should through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai, even and unto the one third that do follow it. And this your brother Laban. Now the Lord has um, done a wonder because the Sahara Desert is what we've been used to seeing it to be, is uh, turning green gradually. Um, as the title of this video uh, says, Sahara turned greens, should we celebrate or worry? And what I want to do is I want to read a scripture here, which is in the book of Isaiah 35. And this is something that the Lord is going to do to the Holy Land. And it's going to be the Holy Land when we get there. Right about now, it's unholy. Uh, Isaiah 35. And uh, we'll get to the point. Verse uh, 7. And the parched ground shall become a pool and the thirsty land spring of water. In the habitation of the dragons, where each lay shall be grass with reeds and rushes. That's the deserts. Okay. So, again, this is nothing more than a glimpse of what the Lord can very well do. And what he's going to do later on. To reform the land mass, which will be considered the, the land mass of, of Israel. While the true Israelites are there. So let's go back and read uh, verse 8. And an highway shall there be there. And a way and it shall be called the way of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it. But it shall be for those. The wayfaring men. Though fools shall not err therein. No lion shall be there. Nor any ravenous beast shall go up thereon. And it shall not be found there. But the redeemed shall walk there, and the ransom of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with songs and everlasting joy upon their heads. And they shall obtain joy and gladness and sorrow, and sighing shall flee away. And when the Lord changes us, we're also going to be holy overall. And so, therefore, the land will be holy the same. Okay. And as of right now, I want to read this verse again in uh, verse eight. And a highway shall be there and a way and it shall not, excuse me, and it shall be called the way of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over. Right now, we have a bunch of unclean people that are dwelling there. OK, that take part in unclean practices. Odious works of wickedness, witchcraft, whatever you want to call it. That's who's there right now, as it is written that um, the time of the Gentiles, of them trotting over Jerusalem, um, will we'll tread in the land, something to that equivalent. So that's happening right now. And the people that are there right now, being that they're doing those practices, proves once again that they don't fit the bill of them being the people. Okay? Because if they were the people, which we are those people, when we return back to the land, Every single thing that they're doing in the land, we're not going to do. All right. All of the wicked shit that, that goes on over there. We ain't doing that. All of that's going to be done away with. It won't exist. Okay. So the Lord, if you look at the state of Israel right now, it's basically most of it's dry land. I mean, there's speckles of greenery. You'll see trees here and there. But it's most of it's desert. So when the Messiah... Uh, makes his second return and delivering us all of this is going to be restored as it was before and much even greater okay and I want to read this as well because this is also figurative which this is spiritually referring to um, the, uh, the people of excuse me I was going to say the land this is referring to the nation of Israel and how the Lord is um, pouring Floods upon the uh, the dry grounds, which represents us. Um, as verse one reads, "Yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant, 
and Israel whom I have chosen, thus saith the Lord Yahweh that made thee and formed thee from the womb, which will help thee. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant, and thou, Jeshurun, which means he is the first, Yashuan, how it's really pronounced, whom I have chosen. For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty, and floods upon the dry ground. And I will pour my spirit upon thy sea, which is what it's referring to. Uh, the flood represents how the Lord is going to pour his spirit upon the seed of Israel. And my blessing upon thine offspring. And they shall spring up as among the grass and as willows by the waters courses. And one shall sing, I am the Lord's. And another shall call himself by the name of Jacob and another shall subscribe with his hand unto the Lord and surname himself by the name of Israel and thus say of the Lord Yahweh the king of Israel and his redeemer and the Lord of hosts I am the first and I am the last and besides me there is no God so from um, verse 44 to verse th excuse me from <laughs> Isaiah 44 chapter 3 Bear me, I can. Um, I'm going to tie this to, to John 7 and 38 and to, uh, verse 39, which is very similar. Um, as this reads, um, he that believeth on me, as the scriptures have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. But this spake he of the spirit, which they that believe on him should receive. For the Holy Spirit was not yet given because that Yahweh Shah was not yet glorified. So we have the spirit in us right now. So we have the spirit upon us. We're supposed to basically be bountiful in providing this gospel unto the nation where it belongs, the nation of Israel. All right. So with any given chance and time, you're going to do a lesson. It shouldn't take you to, to do a lesson every three weeks or every month or every a couple of months. That means the spirit ain't, ain't dealing with you. Now, there's going to come a time where you're going to be having your off moments where you might not be in the spirit for a couple of days or maybe a day. But after those couple of days or that day, you're going to do a, a lesson. You're going to be in the spirit to doing a, a lesson, whether it be a short lesson or could very well be. A lesson that may go for an hour. Who knows? All right. But whatever the Spirit saith. So um, that's what's been had with us as a nation. Um, not as a nation, excuse me, but as the few which is within the nation, the elect. We have the Spirit of the Lord upon us. And this is why we're standing forth as we are. And we now know what the deal is. And we're giving you the deal. So... Um, that's all I pretty much have to say with this. The Most High is reforming his people, the elect, and later on he will he will reform the landmass which is called Jerusalem. And this is just a glimpse of what wonders the Lord will do unto his people and as well as their land in conjunction. So with that, I want to close. I want to give all of the praises. And the glory to the Most High and His Son, Yahweh Bashmi Shai, Bahashem, Barakak Wadash, and double honors to the elder apostles of the great no stone that have taught me, and as well as including the elder bishops under them too. And overall, Yahweh Bashmi Shai, Shai, 744,000, and including the one third that follow the ministry. I'm out. Shalom.